I'm in the plates and dishes and over here sitting right on top is what looks like a piece of hand-painted Mexican Talavera pottery. Let's turn it over and see if it's signed. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. We're having another really hot spell here in Vegas. It's the very end of August and uh, as you can see it's 107 degrees at 5.30 in the afternoon. Um, hopefully fall will kick in quite soon and the temperatures will cool down. But until then, we are relying on our air conditioning, both at home and at Goodwill. That's where I'm heading now. I will be there in a couple of minutes. I'll see you there. After my last Goodwill trip, I was unpacking my boxes and I realized that I had a teapot but left the matching cups because I mistook them for candle holders. So hopefully they will still be there on the shelf. Let's go in and see if we can find them. Let's go thrifting! We will grab a cart. Let's look over at the sign to see the new color of the day. It is green. All green tags are 50% off. And we will make our way back to the hard goods section. I'm often asked how I know a piece of glass is vintage and of value. Many companies such as Blanco, and Viking and Fenton went through a period where they had stickers on their glass pieces and over time many of those wore off. So in order to recognize those pieces, unfortunately, you just have to know the look, the weight, the feel of the item, or you have to be familiar with their catalog and pieces. Here we are in the hard goods and I immediately spotted something I want a closer look at. It is this piece. From a distance it looked like blue Delft but uh, as I pick it up and I feel the quality I realize that it is a florist piece. It's not marked on the bottom so we will leave that on the shelf. Here we are in the mugs. I wanted to come here first to see if the cups to my teapot are still here. Here they are. They're not candle holders. They are little teacups. They're only 69 cents. There are two here at the front and I spy one at the very back there. There it is. We will have a look around to see if we can see any more. I'm not sure whether there was originally a set of four or six of these. But at a glance, I'm only seeing these three. Pop them in the cart. Lots and lots of mugs today. At the same time, we will look and see if we can find anything else. These are also little teacups. Why don't we grab these as well and see if we can find the teapot that goes with these. Here is a really old English teacup, possibly. Quite a few sets. 
is a happy face mug. Here is another mug in the set uh, I got last time. This one says, when in trouble, delegate. I'm not sure whether that's from a famous movie too. The other one I uh, got last time is, uh, if you want me, and then on the back, on the bottom, it says, just whistle. Oh, look at this. This is a Starbucks mug. It's a year of the rat. Only 99 cents, this one. That is a good find. It looks to be brand new. We will pop that in the cart as well. I just spotted a SeaWorld mug here. And my friend Danny, the niche lady, advises to pick these up because they're no longer breeding the orcas in captivity at SeaWorld. So um, sooner or later, there will no longer be orca whales there. Here we are in the kitcheny bits. Here's a Nordic ware checkerboard mold. That's only about a 10 to $12 item. Lots of clear glass. Oh, here's a Bolskowitz little, uh, is it a butter bell or a jelly jar? I'm not sure, but we will definitely take that. It's a Polish piece. Really, really high end and popular at the moment. And now that I have found that, I am going to carefully look through to see if there are any additional pieces, any more Polish pottery. Here is a white teapot, really big and heavy bowl there. Some canisters, interesting little pot. It's got a chip on the side. Here is a spoon rest. It's made in China. Look at this amazing cookie jar. It's a bear with honeybees and a hive. I think this piece is a vintage McCoy piece. It's got USA and a number on the bottom. It's really, really super heavy, but I think that price tag said just $3.99, so let's pop it in the cart. Just in front here is a gorgeous little blue and white single shaker for $0.99. Cents. It's made in Japan, and these are absolutely perfect for displaying hat pins in the little holes. We'll keep going and see what else we can find. Lots of clear glass. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. There's a teapot here, but I think it's a little newer than the single shaker. Look at these. I think these are Polish, more Bolskowitz. They are handmade in Poland and they still have their original sticker, which means they are brand new. There are three of them. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that pattern. We will definitely pop these in our cart. Got our shaker there. I just looked back over my shoulder and noticed this water pitcher on the shelf behind me. I missed it as I came through, but I just love the rings around it. It's a nice heavy glass, so we are going to pop it in the cart. Let's see what else they have.
back here is a lovely serving dish with uh, peaches on it. It looks Italian. It's really quite heavy. It is made in Italy. It's six dollars. but It's just not something I want to ship, especially since it has a few chips. This is an interesting canister, Studio Nova. I love the little tulips on it. Unfortunately, it's missing its lid, so we will leave it. Some cake pans here. This is a Wilton Love muffin tins. Lots and lots of lids. Baking trays. Travel tumblers. Some fancy little gold spoons there. I'm not sure what those are for. Pans. Bakers. Some cutting boards here, serving dishes, here's a little brown, is it brown bag cookie? Some of those are worth some money, but not that one. What's this? Looks like some little molds there, chocolate molds. Lots of utensils, coasters, it's a pestle and mortar, I'm in the plates and dishes and over here sitting right on top is what looks like a piece of hand painted Mexican Talavera pottery. Let's turn it over and see if it's signed. It's signed Talavera. It even has a hook for hanging. We will definitely grab this piece, put it safely there underneath the cart. And I am going to continue going down this stack to see what else there is. Let's look at this piece. That's a Palermo piece. Nothing else hand painted. This looks like a Taylor Smith Taylor platter, really, really big and heavy. Not something I would like to ship. It is vintage though, and it's even green tag, so it's half off. A lovely piece. Unfortunately, some of the gold is worn off around the edge, but hopefully that will find a good home. I'm going to get out my phone and just have a look on eBay because I'm not familiar with the pattern. I want to see if I can learn what it's called and how much it's worth. So I've got my phone, I've got the eBay app open. I think the pattern look like, looks like lilies. So I'm going to put in Taylor Smith Taylor Lily. Nothing comes up. So what I will do next is check solds. Nothing there either. Perhaps they're not lilies. Let's use Google Lens to take a picture. It will do a search and come up with similar images to suggest what I might have. This looks exactly like it. Let's click on this. Looks like a eBay listing. For $40, we have a set of eight dinner plates for $40 here. 
up here on the shelf is a Harry Potter piece. These are always worth checking. Harry Potter is very, very popular. They want $20 for this piece. So while I have my phone out, we are going to check this mystery flying snitch. Just to see what eBay says it's worth in the marketplace. Typing in mystery flying snitch. Let's see. There it is on eBay. And it looks like $20 is just about, if not a little more than retail. We will keep going. Just checking purple plates for, for fiesta wear. These are Better Homes and Gardens 12 Days of Christmas plates. Unfortunately, these just don't sell that well. Oh, down here are some more of these Bolkowitz Polish plates. Another stack of three for $2.99. They're a little bit different to the others, but they are still really lovely, hand-painted. Let's pop those with the others. Let's scoot this plate over. I don't want to put that on top in case it scratches. We'll scoot the Talavera forward and uh, put them safely under the cart. We'll keep going just in case. I'm not seeing any more, but you never know. Just having a look at anything that looks interesting. What's this? Not for food juice. We've made our way back to the first aisle of figurines. Back here is a lovely blue decanter. Unfortunately, it's chipped on top. Lots of little house teapots. Some cherubs. This is another Palermo piece. Oh, look at this. This is made of wood. It looks Celtic. We'll definitely pop that in the cart. Lots of baggies dolls down here, collector plates, this is a wine holder, this is Viceroy China, probably about an 8 to 12 dollar piece. This piece is interesting, it looks like uh, the image has been applied, maybe a project piece. Lots more plates. I'm not sure what these are. Pedestals. Candles here. It's a little fountain. Some glassware. Hershey Kiss fondue set. Lots of clear glass. Moving into the wood. This looks like a monkey pod piece. I'm sure this would have come in a set of several. These are tile trivets. It's 
some pumpkins down here. And baskets. Oh, look at these. Little set of bongo drums. They're probably African. $3.99, $2.99, and $1.99. This one is painted. What a fun set. Up here we have some baskets, some plaques. Here's a little Avon duck and a lighthouse. This is a cutting board that's quite fun. Unfortunately, some of the wood is splitting. We will leave that. All sorts of wood pieces, shelves and plaques and signs. Oh, look at these lovely little stitchery pieces in oval frames. They're very vintage. Only 99 cents. There's a little girl and a little boy. They are gorgeous. Let's pop these into our cart. There we go. One more section here. It's a little pineapple box. Looks like it's missing a lock. Some really big wooden fish. Well, these are from Home Goods for twenty dollars. We are in the vases and the planters having a look. Lots of clear glass, mostly florists pieces today. All sorts of shapes and sizes, square ones today. Some emoji planters. Oh, look at this. This is a beau jar. Middle Kingdom is the company, I believe. This is the most uh, common color, the orangey color, but the green ones especially, I know, sell ever so well. We will pop this in the cart. This is a glass top, so that's not gonna hurt if I set it on there. Let's keep going. Ooh, back here is a brass vase, really unique. I love the pattern at the top and the lower section is hammered. That is really nice and tall as well. I love that. In front here is some quite heavy made in China pieces, not ever such good quality. into the silk plants and florals. Just moving things around, making sure nothing's hiding at the back. Wreaths. And we are moving into the metal section. Not really sure what that is. Is it a Bacon cooker, maybe? Lots of racks. Here's an ice bucket. More baskets up top. A 
sconces oh these are the nice quality ones of these sell really really well little outside sculptures with bells on this one's quite cheaply made so we will leave it This is the black metal. Please stay tuned for my haul at the end of the video. I show you everything I bought, tell you what I paid and what I expect to get for it. And the colored metal and tins a little rooster basket there it's, it's a bit worse for wear the rooster is ceramic but the uh, basket weave has some missing parts we're on the little plastics end cap and I noticed this bowl here it's where the wild things are little max and a wild thing for 69 cents my son Jake loved that book so we will grab that this is a Brax Looney Tunes tin only about 10 to 12 dollars that one a nice big basket we are here in the lamps this is a vintage desk lamp with a glass shade unfortunately it's in rough condition so we will leave that but over here is a gorgeous brass uh, hurricane shade lamp it's so mid-century look at this i'm not sure those are the ideal bulbs for it but we are going to take it over to the testing station just to make sure that it works the cord is definitely vintage it might need rewiring it's super duper heavy so i am going to have to turn off the camera just for a sec I just spotted this fabulous Allen Designs wall clock. It's the black and tan dog. He's only $5. He is missing his pendulum, but replacements can be easily ordered on their website. Here is the moment of truth for our light. I have it plugged in. Let's turn the switch. Ta-da! Yes, those aren't the ideal bulbs. They're much too bright and they would get much too hot. So they would need replacing with a really uh, low wattage bulb. Way at the back of this shelf, I just spotted a gorgeous little brass vase. It's really vintage, really heavy, definitely has some age. It looks like it's even marked right there with some initials and it's only 99 cents. Let's definitely pop this in our cart. We will take our usual stroll through the small frames and into the larger artwork. This looks like a vintage frame here. I can tell by the paper on the back and the wire hanger. It's not something that uh, I would pick up. I'm looking for vintage watercolors, oils, charcoals or etchings. And just lately, cruel and stitchery and cross stitch have been doing really, really well for me. So I'm looking for those as well. It's definitely worth flipping through all the artwork just to see what might be hiding. You never ever know what you're going to find. Such a variety, so many pieces here. 
and even if you're just looking for a nice frame this is definitely the place to come because you can pick up exactly what you might need for just a few dollars let's see what they have in the way of furniture here looks like a, a basket here with a little gecko holding onto it that is very unique here is a tall jewelry box and a desk here the chest of drawers not too terribly old some little bowls couches beyond on the other side there I just swung through the pet section and noticed this bowl this is a English piece Wittard and it is Alice in Wonderland's Cheshire Cat now it does have some residue in the bowl there but I'm sure we can get that removed Here on my counter is everything I found at Goodwill. Found it is here in the box, enjoying the warmth of the morning sun. Ivy. First we have this little English bowl. It's made by Wittard of Chelsea, England. I paid $1.99 for it. And it does have some sort of residue in the bottom. And I am going to soak it in a vinegar water solution to try to loosen that and get it clean. As I said, I paid $1.99 for it and I am going to ask $20. This is a melamine bowl where the wild things are. There's Max with a wild thing here. I paid 69 cents for it and I am going to ask $12. I was so excited when the little cups that match this teapot were still on the shelf there. And I'm wondering if the next time I go back, there'll be more. I'm not really sure whether it came with three, four or six cups. But uh, I paid 69 cents. Let me peel the label and show you that they do, in fact, match. They are Pier 1. Just like the teapot, and I am going to ask $25 for the set. Back here we have our gorgeous, glossy Middle Kingdom Bogia or Boja vase. Absolutely gorgeous, a really nice piece, well made. I paid 69 cents for it and I am going to ask $18. I absolutely love brass and this is a gorgeous but simple vase here. It's glossy on the bottom part and then it becomes just a little, not frosted, but a little duller at the top. For effect. I paid 99 cents for it 
and I am going to ask $20. You can see how nice this grouping of three looks with the Middle Kingdom vase, the brass vase, and then this tall one back here. This looks to be quite old. It's hammered closest to the bottom, and then it has this gorgeous design in the metal up top. There's the bottom. It has a bit of a dent on one side, as you can see, but uh, the patina leads me to believe that it is quite old. There's the inside. I paid $3 for it, and I am going to ask $25. Back here is the lovely picture that I almost missed. I believe it's a vintage piece. It's quite heavy and solid. It's got these lovely Art Deco rings around the middle. That too can do with the soak in vinegar. It's got some residue on the inside. But I believe I paid $3 for it and I am going to ask $25. I was so excited to find this vintage McCoy bear with the honey pot and bees cookie jar. It's absolutely gorgeous. The bees have lost quite a bit of their paint, unfortunately. Um, and the bear has lost a bit of paint around his mouth and on his nose, but it's in very good condition considering its age. There's the bottom. It has 143 with USA on the bottom. I paid $4 for it and I am going to ask $45. Here we have our little trio of bongos. This is just a ready-made display for you. Three different sizes, three different heights, a small one has some decorative hand painting on the base. They're absolutely lovely. They have little uh, rope handles. Each one of them does. There. I paid $3.99, $2.99, and $1.99 for them. And I am going to ask $50 for the set of three. Back here, we have a gorgeous pair of vintage stitchery pieces. They're framed in lovely oval frames, a little boy and a little girl. They look like they're traveling. The girl has a basket. The boy has a shoulder bag and a staff. They are actually created in wool absolutely lovely they are vintage the back says cramps pictures east orange new jersey and framing there definitely a vintage wire i paid 99 cents a piece for these oops and i am going to ask 25 dollars for the pair Here we have our stunning lamp. It's brass with glass surrounding it. The hurricane shade is really thick glass, very nice quality. As you can see, it is old. It's a vintage piece. Look at the plug. It's absolutely lovely. As I said in the video, these um, bulbs are a little bit strong for the lamp. We want something, maybe a 15 watt, that's very, very gentle. And uh, I think maybe a lightly frosted bulb would give a very nice effect. I paid $6 for it and I found one online 
upwards of $150. I wouldn't want to ship this, um, so I'm going to hold on to it for now. Over here we have our Wolkowitz Made in Poland plates. These are really, really heavy, handmade in Poland. These can either be used as dinner plates or they all have uh, little holes for hanging. So they can also be gorgeous decorative pieces on your wall. The same with this set. These are uh, the same size. So in essence, you could either have a set of six on your wall or a set of six dinner plates. This gorgeous butter keeper or butter crock matches this set of plates perfectly. It's absolutely lovely. Again, handmade in Poland. I paid $3 for the butter keeper online. They are $89. And the plates are $25 a piece. Here we have a gorgeous little Irish piece made out of wood. It's a war hanging, island crafts, Celtic uh, carvings, made entirely of different pieces of wood. I paid 99 cents for it. I'm going to ask $25. This would make a fantastic Christmas gift for the Irish person in your life. How about this gorgeous Talavera plate? I absolutely love the colors, the green and yellow flower in the middle with the pink flowers radiating out blues and greens and yellows and the checkerboard behind it. What a fantastic design. I just love it. This also has a wire for hanging. This signed Talavera S. Venegas, lead free Mexico. I paid $4 for it. I'm going to ask $40. This is a Starbucks mug. It is Year of the Rat, the Chinese Year of the Rat. Lovely piece. It's got its original sticker on it, brand new. I paid 99 cents. I am going to ask $25. Back here we have a vintage gold and black SeaWorld mug. It's a glass mug with a handle. Oftentimes, the gold on these mugs is terribly worn. They get put in the dishwasher and that ruins them. But this one is in relatively good condition. Just a few little scratches on it. I paid $3 for it. I am going to ask $20. I was thrilled to find a second one of these mugs. Found this one last video. And this one, this video, this one says, when in trouble, delegate. How fun to have a pair. I'm going to reprice these at 30 for the pair. These single salt shakers are absolutely perfect to display vintage hat pins. And this one is especially lovely. It has a phoenix on it. Just a beautiful piece. It's marked Made in Japan. Lovely, lovely. I paid 99 cents for it and I am going to ask $15. Last but not least, my most exciting find of the day is this gorgeous Allen Designs doggy clock. This is the black and tan dog really really hard to find i couldn't find any for sale online unfortunately he was missing his pendulum 
but I went online to Allen Designs and I ordered a new one. Amazingly, they keep most, I think most all of the pendulums extras in stock. So I ordered his pendulum. It's a little bone with a doghouse on it. I tested him. He does work. Very exciting. I paid $5 for him and I am going to list him on eBay for $100 complete. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my Goodwill Thrift With Me shop trip and my haul. If you see anything you're interested in purchasing, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your mailing address, the item you're interested in, and the price I quoted. Please stay tuned for some fun footage of Ziggy, and I will see you next time. Bye! Somebody found a comfy new perch <laughs> in the Goodwill packing paper. Ziggy! He's on the counter in my bathroom where I take my uh, video of my haul. And uh, seems to be quite comfortable. What are you doing? Did you find a comfy spot?